Okay, welcome back to another video, guys. It is the Dev King here. Um, I know it's been so, so long, and I apologize for anyone who's waiting for a tutorial. Guys, I'm back for good this time, I promise, okay? I'm not gonna leave you guys, okay? You see me? Okay, look, I won't leave you, okay? Not this time, okay? Anyways, <laughs> um, the point is, um, I'm back, okay? So, anyways, let's get to the tutorial, okay? So, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about instances. Now, instances are basically, like, everything in Roblox. Now, what do I mean? So, like, okay, do you see, like, this, um, okay, let, okay, look. All right, if you go into Workspace, right, and then right-click it, you can go over here where it says insert object and everything here is an object or also known as an instance so I, I just put a seat in the game I don't I don't really know what, why I did that but there's a seat in here right and this is an instance so I can create that in a script so that's what we're gonna be doing today's video we're actually gonna be doing some really cool stuff I'm gonna make an awesome like rain spawner at the end you'll see how it works uh, some of you may be able to do it already if you if you understand uh, you know scripting pretty well but uh, you'll see how it works at the end so anyways guys that's pretty much it and uh, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial okay so first things first we need to create our script so I'm gonna go ahead and make my script so there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and name it. Uh, actually, you know, we don't need really name it. Okay, uh, get rid of this. But okay, so the syntax for instances. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and type instance. So instance, and then dot new, and then so instance dot new. So you have instance right, which is an instance, and then basically dot new. It's saying create a new instance, and there's parameters. Okay, so this is a function. Okay, so if you go here and type this back again. It's gonna say, oh wait, crap. Dot. Okay, okay, see that right there? It says instance dot new. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says string value, and then instance parent, instance parent. So basically, it's what it's saying is there's two parameters, and I'll tell you what the parameters do right now. So the first parameter is what instance you want to create. I can create a a light. I can create a point light. I can create a part. Um, I can create a mesh part. I can create pants. I can create anything basically. I can create whatever I want, but it's asking what I want to create. So the first parameter, I'm just going to create a part. So I'll do part. And the second parameter is optional. You don't need to put this one. You can set the part. You can set the parent later. But the second parameter is basically like you set your parent for the um, the part. So where do you want this part to be in the workspace or in the explorer? So I'll put it in the workspace. And so I'm going to go ahead and type the you know the directory. I guess it's called game workspace. There we go. And there we go. So basically, what is going to happen now if I run the script? It's going to spawn a part in the workspace. And you're probably wondering, well, where's it going to spawn? And that's right at the origin. So by default, the part will spawn right at the origin, in the middle of the map. And um, but yeah, there it is. And I didn't even make that. Like if it, you see, it's there now. But if I go out here, there's no part there. So yeah, it basically, it creates it while the game's running, which is pretty cool. Now, if you're creative and you're thinking already, okay, you can do some pretty cool things with this. So first things first, though, when you do create instances, this is a bad way to do it because if you create an instance, you you do this, right? You're gonna have your part in your workspace, right? But you won't have a variable or way to access it in the script again. So if I wanted to make it anchored, how would I do it? I have to type in now. I have to type in game.workspace.part and then do anchored. And then what if that's not right, the right part? So the easy way to do it is actually just set a variable to the instance when you when you create the instance. So what I mean by that is go ahead and go over here and type in local, you know, um, new part and then equal to the instance. So now our this variable is equal to the instance that we just spawned. So yeah, I hope that makes sense to you guys. But anyways. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and uh, change the part around a bit. So I'm not sure if I told you guys about vector three values, but um, we can actually make the part bigger in the script. So we'll go ahead and play with that a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and do new part, which is the thing we just created. And we're gonna do dot um, size, okay? And then we're gonna do equals vector three dot new. Okay, so what am I doing right now? Basically, a vector three is like a three value number, okay? So, or three value like, how do I explain it? Three value, like just number, I guess. Yeah. So basically, um, I'm gonna put the size on the x-axis and the size on. The, oh crap! I'm gonna put the size on the x-axis, on the y-axis, and in the z-axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So actually, let me show you what the x-axis and the y-axis is. If you guys don't know, I'm not sure if you know. But look, the, okay. So you see over here, it says position, right? Or let's find size. You see over here, it says size, right? And then in there, my vector three value dot new. I have three values I can put. So 
you see, it, it, it's kind of like you just match the size up with that and the X and the Y and everything, okay? And yeah, <laughs> so hope that makes sense. I'll tell you it doesn't, guys, but yeah, that's how it works, okay? So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to create a, my vector 3 value, right? I'm going to change the size, and I'm going to make it like really big so we can make it like 50 50 50 okay and now if i spawn it in right now it's gonna be like in the ground like watch this ready actually i don't know oh never mind no it's not um but look at that thing okay we just created a huge block all throughout the script that's pretty cool but now if you want to move it around we can go ahead and change the position so we're gonna do the same thing new part dot position uh, is equal to vector 3 dot new because it's a vector 3 value and then we're gonna do uh we'll do 50 50 50 again so it'll basically be floating in the sky, I think. Um, if I did my math right, I don't. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> but um, and look. Oh wait, no, that's not it. What the heck? Okay, look. Let me let me go ahead and make, make the y axis like really high. So I'll do like uh, like two under something. Okay, and then it should be in the sky, I think. And oh, what the? It's bouncing. Oh, it's not anchored. Okay, that's why. Okay, so it should be, but it's not anchored. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do new part dot anchored and then true and then boom. All right, so yeah, that's that's the uh, anchor, and that'll be floating in the sky. So look, there we go. We got a flying block we all created in the script. Okay, so now you understand how to use instances pretty well. Now I would mess around with them if you want to. You, I'm pretty sure you understand what to do, but um, that's what instances are, and you can create stuff in a script, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all this stuff now. Okay, all these parts in here and delete, delete. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is create that range script I was talking about, okay? So what we want to do is we want to spawn parts in the game and basically make it fall down on us, right? And make it look like rain. All right, so it's gonna be pretty cool looking. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and uh, you know, you'll just see. So I want, yeah, that, I, may, I hope that makes sense to you guys. We're gonna make it rain. So first things first, we're gonna need our part. So let's go ahead and uh, create the instance so that we already have it here. I'm not gonna delete this. Uh, I'll change this to rain though. So we'll make it local rain equals to that so that'll be the rain and then we're going to go ahead and do a while loop so a while true do because we want it to rain forever okay because wherever we live it rains forever okay <laughs> um and then we're gonna do uh oh no actually we're gonna put we want to put this in here my bad put that in there because um you know we want to be creating instances forever so if you put it up there it's not going to create the instances because the while loop is empty so yeah so we'll create instances for forever because it's while true do and put the wait because if it doesn't wait then it's going to crash so put that and then we're going to go ahead and actually spawn it in the sky so we're going to do rain dot position is equal to vector three dot new and then we're going to do zero so it'll spawn at the origin but and then we can uh, you know Spawn at the origin, and then we're gonna go ahead and do like 15 and then zero. Okay, so there we go, and then we're gonna go ahead and do uh, rain dot size. We want the size to be pretty big, so rain dot size equals vector three dot new, and then we can do um, how big we want our rain. So we don't want it too big, so we'll do 0.5 on the sides, and then we can do like one. I don't even know, honestly. I don't know what rain looks like, <laughs> but um, there you go. That's that's like good enough. Okay, so then it's gonna spawn in the sky and. Um, yeah, just one in the sky. And to make sure it all works, we're going to make sure it's not anchored. So rain not anchored equals false. Because if it's anchored, it won't fall down. And then we're going to go ahead into the transparency, um, like a little bit transparent that way, like it looks like rain, because you can kind of see through rain because it's like water, you know. So yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and run that script and see if it works. And there it is, boys. It's raining. Do you see that? That's so cool. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's what you learned how to do in today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, it's not rain doesn't just fall in the same spot every five seconds, but I haven't taught you guys how to use the random function yet, which I probably will in the next few videos. But random basically makes it you can you can get random numbers and spawn at random different places. So I'll be doing that in the next video, and um, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and script on. Okay, that was cringy. I don't, I don't know what I was saying, <laughs> but just just enjoy, guys. Have fun. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one, and that will be soon. Okay, like, I'm talking about every other day uploads. So uh, yeah. Subscribe if you're new, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Anyways, peace, guys.